Alright, let's start and I'll keep this as short as possible. We currently live in a time where texting has become a mainstream way of communicating with each other, especially in the dating scene. Before the age of social media, humans would spend time talking and conversing with each other in a more genuine and spontaneous manner. Texting was meant to be fast and convenient, but it's too convenient. The effort to talk to someone just isn't there anymore. Thus, the reward to get to know someone isn't very hard to get and isn't as desirable as before. Now, with the texting as a form of communication, we have time to think and select our words more carefully and therefore, we are not being the most genuine with our thoughts and our feelings. Other than that, when talking to another person, it's so sad that now we have a culture that you shouldn't reply too quickly to the other person, so that you won't look so desperate. Like, you can't even be productive or like, get an answer straight up. Like, just wanna get my answer and go man, what's wrong? <sighs> Let's take an example. Let's say, little Johnny wanna ask, so hey, I like your outfit, suits you well. And Rachel be like, thanks, I don't like your glasses. Little Johnny be like, hmm, I'm wondering, what are you studying right now? You look like a good generalist. And holy shit, we have to wait for two whole hours just to say this one sentence. I'm studying business admin. Haha, <laughs> you look like an engineer. Like, heck, sometimes they didn't even see your message. Or they use a legendary double grade tick technique. Like, oh my goodness, the moment you've been used on <laughs> the legendary <laughs> double gray tick technique is over for you man it's over wait worst of all there's actually one more thing we have some people that use this double blue tick or with a scene or some shit like that and they just outright ignore you and your question and just leave you hanging for life like they basically just destroyed your career <laughs> At that point, man, just keep your dignity up and just leave, man. It's kind of sad that now both parties in the conversation can't have like a smooth, long, wholesome conversation without playing these games nowadays, you know? It's just very rare, you know? This psychological warfare shit is so, so, so depressing to me. To be honest, I'm, just, I'm literally quite done with this shit. Like, the point of texting is to get to know each other better. But you be playing these games or just delaying that. And this also creates another problem. Like, uh, not really a problem, but I guess it kind of forces you to like text to several people. Why? It's caused by the delay of replies from other people, making you to take the initiative to talk to multiple people at once, to know them. Like look, if you talk to a guy or a girl for a long time, like 3 days or a week, and playing this bullshit ass game, and it didn't work out in the end, so what do you do? Like you just don't vibe with the person anymore? Like holy shit, you wasted your precious time that you'll never get back. And guess what? That's the only person you talk to. It's over. Like it's over if you only talk to one other potential person to get to know them. And guess what? The solution is to talk to more people and make it a numbers game. Where if one fails, at least you have some backup. This is when you are like before a committed relationship where you're just scouting and stuff and testing the water there's no other way other than that here's some final advice see if the person is genuine or not through text through your own vibe checking skills you just have to like you know 
get a feel not whether this person be like being truthful sometimes or just playing games with you and also secondly try to up your texting game read up some art of war shit by Sun Tzu or some YouTube videos about it about the psychological shit that people do in text and stuff and if you you know if it fails don't complain about it and just move on with dignity if it doesn't work out hey it's not meant to be just move on and keep your pride up there's many more shit open up in the oceans yo if you like this kind of chill but no bullshit kind of content about life and stuff uh, I really appreciate if you hit up the like and subscribe button and hopefully the notification bell if possible also if there's any topic you want to hear about next time comment down the section below thanks for your time and see y'all next time